Hello everyone, I'm Mike Fortune and this is the Hamilton Network. Thank you so much for being here. We don't want you to run anywhere except to register for the upcoming Around the Bay Road Race. Hard to believe uh, they were founded in 1894, something like that. Oldest road race in North America. It's coming back to Hamilton to talk to us all about it now, race director Anna Lewis. Anna, so nice to see you today. Welcome. Thank you for having me. You, you've, you've been doing this for a number of years now, and I'm sure it gets to a point when just when you think you've gotten, kind of got it figured out, they throw another curveball at you. Yeah. This year's no exception. Oh, basically a whole new route, more or less. It is. Um, all our route distance, all our race distances are new routes. Uh, mm. So it is pretty much planning for a new race, a new event, uh, but we're, it's really exciting to do that as well. Because this race has such long history and traditions, um, we get to meld some of that old uh, part of the race and some of the new. And so that's really refreshing and nice, I hope, for the participants. What was the reason for the the uh, change of the race venue and, of course, for the, the change of the... the the course. <laughs> Try right. the word out. <laughs> well, so with the the redevelopment um, schedule at uh, First Ontario Centre being kind of um, tentative, um, we really needed to make some plans. And right. so we thought, well, this was a great opportunity to look at something fresh. And so going to Tim Hortons Field, where they just had the Grey Cup, um, you know, we thought this was a great venue that was comparable to finishing inside First Ontario Centre. Sure. Um, however, it is geographically a, a, a distance away. And so when we uh, mapped out the route there was a, a difference so it actually is 34k this year okay. into the stadium now what we've done is we're going to have timing mats at the 30k so that people can compare their results to past years and they're still eligible for age category awards at the 30k mark uh -huh. so um, but the finish is inside, like the race finishes inside 34. So you can't just stop. You have to keep going. Finish it off. You finish it off. But um, we're really excited because that area, too, has been so supportive of Cat games <laughs> and events there. So we're looking forward to embracing that community and that neighborhood as well. And, and you talk about that community, which for years, you know, you, you buy a house there. You know what you're getting into. And if you don't, you find out pretty quick. But there's a charm about that there area, is. I find. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. For sure. And, and to be honest, I think around the whole route that we've experienced, um, as soon as you um, enter the, or you start the course, there's such energy on James Street and, you know, in the past. But now we're going to have a new area. But, you know, Beach Boulevard has Tim Pan Alley where the residents come out with their pots and pans and North Shore Boulevard and York Boulevard. So I think, you know, this is just a new neighborhood that can add a little flavor to our already existing flavorful uh, race. And, of course, uh, the fine folks at St. Joe's are involved once again. Talk to us about that relationship. Anything new to it this year? Well, actually, they're celebrating their 20th anniversary as our charity partner. So we're excited about that and, and a great milestone for them. And, and geez, I, I first started uh, at St. Joe's, and this was my first partnership with the race <laughs> when my first year there. So that's been um, a little eye-opener that it's already been 20 years. Um, but we're really fortunate to have such a great hospital in our city. Um, celebrating their 20th anniversary as a partner. Again, we want to raise as much funds as we can to support their efforts. Um, but they also, you know, bring a lot of corporate teams to the race. Um, they share in that community spirit, and we all work together to, to improve health care here. And, of course, working together to improve health care, you can't forget about the volunteers and the various groups. And this year is just going to be another showcase of that with the Around the Bay Road Race. You know, I, I don't know that we, we thank the volunteers enough, and I, I hope that uh, they know that we appreciate them. But we have over 500 part, uh, volunteers sorry, that um, help out with the race, and we could not do it without them. Uh, we're having more water stations because of the new routes, so we'll need more volunteers. But we've had groups that have been with us for 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, the Stony Creek Navy League, uh, the Hamilton uh, Royal Infantry Cadet Corps, um, the the in Columbia International College students, yeah. um, uh, regular high, high school students. We had a high school student that came with us when they were 14 years old. He's now over 30, has two kids, and is still a volunteer and is an integral role uh, on our committee. So it's just amazing. It, it, sh it shows the impact of this race, and now you're starting to see the generational impact, yes. which is wonderful. Must be must be great for you to see this. We love it, and I mean, we're so thankful. I, I think a lot of the volunteers, they really do feel like this is their race. Yeah. Um, they're very passionate. Um, they take it personally, so every little detail they, they handle as if it was their own baby, like it's... 
It's amazing and, and very heartwarming. It's a wonderful showcase of our city, of our volunteer uh, groups that we have here. If people want to get involved, what is the best way to do, whether they want to participate as a runner, volunteer, sponsor, is there a, a go-to for all this? Absolutely. Come to our website, yeah. bayrace.com, and there's different tabs that you can, but we definitely need more volunteers this year, more than ever because of the route change, uh, more water stations, more people to provide direct because now um, the route is so different. We don't want someone to go the wrong way or <laughs> <laughs> towards the finish. We've talked about how the route is different. Is it just as or more challenging, would you say? I think it's a little bit more challenging. There's okay. a little bit of a elevation, um, more elevation in terms of hills uh, at different areas. And also Valley and Road, where the traditional hill is, it's at a different point in the race. So okay. there's still more to go. In the past, there was only about four kilometers to go. Now you have maybe, you know, six to eight so for that point yes it's it's the running the physical side but now it's also the mental game that absolutely. I guess for a lot of people too right? absolutely so when you're coming down York uh, you normally think you're, you're about to finish and now you're gonna turn <laughs> into Dundurn Castle so yeah. um, yes for sure people will have to prepare not only physically but mentally and are, are there ways that people can start to practice leading up to the the big event that's coming for sure, we have training programs on our right. website as well, but there's also running groups at different, uh, like Runner's Den has a group and Kintech has a, a runner's group. So um, it's great that there's also uh, community running groups as well. Uh, that's super stuff. Anna, thank you so much for coming in again. I think this is probably about our seventh or eighth interview regarding this wonderful event, and it's so nice to have you come in. We always know what time of year it is. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. All the best to you, Anna Lewis, and of course to all the wonderful folks that will be running this year. Uh, good luck to each of you. And of course, don't forget to follow us on X on THN at C14. And if you have any story or show ideas for an upcoming episode, send us some information and suggestions to THN at cable14.com.